Hey guys, if you are new and want an easy start upon joining, message me, aka Jonah SPS in game or on Discord for five free super mystery boxes. <laughs> What's going on guys, Jonas VS here and today I'm back with a brand new video and today I'm back on Dreamscape for the first time in a while actually and I'm really hyped to be back here, it's going to be so much fun, I'm going to be making some really fun videos for you guys and today we're going to be taking a look at the new awesome update which I believe is one of the biggest Dreamscape updates, it's so cool, it's so amazing which is the Faldo Massacre Raid. Now there's also a few more things in the update, this is the main thing in the update, the Faldo Massacre Raid and basically if you guys didn't know, on the 5th of June 2006 there was this bug going around where you could kill people outside of a wilderness which is crazy by the way, so you could kill people in Falador, and we've made this into an actual raid which we're going to be taking a look at further into the video but yeah I'll get into that further into the video but we're also going to be giving away free goodie boxes which I'll also begin into further in the video this was also released this update and uh, this is really expensive actually I believe that's like $25 $50 $50 if I'm not mistaken so this is a $125 giveaway uh, if I'm not mistaken which is actually pretty big so if you guys want to be entered with a chance of winning this then all you got to do is like the video comment your IGN subscribe to my channel and make sure to click the referral link in the description as it helps me out a ton but yeah this is free winners in total so free people will have a chance of winning this and guys if you are new to the server and join from my video then make sure to message me in game and you will receive five super mystery boxes so all you guys gotta do is register an account message me and you will receive five mystery boxes it's as simple as that and these are really cool as you can see you can get some really nice items from this like for example the american pernix body so that is insane so make sure to uh, message me in game and i'll give you the five mystery boxes or you can message me on discord i'll also give it to you there but yeah let's get straight into the video okay so the first thing we're going to be taking a look at is the new goodie boxes these are really expensive Expensive. I believe the most expensive is the seasonal goodie box, which is $100, and then the rest are around about $25 or $50. And how these works is the best price you can get is actually named on the box. So, for example, the best price you can get from this one is an ice glaive, and there's a 1 in 20 chance of receiving that, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And I believe how it works is if you open the box, if we grab one here, so let's grab the Asimov goodie box. Um, if we click open right here, um, there's a bunch of numbers, and then there's a 1 in 20 chance, so you gotta click one, and then one of them could possibly be the top reward. There's also legendary prizes, which is two of them, ultimate prizes, which is five. I have great prizes which is 6 and then good prizes which is also 6. There's a 1 in 20 chance you could receive some good and then a 2 in 20 chance you could receive some legendary. So the odds are pretty good of getting something good and I hope we do. We've got a bunch. We've got like 70 total to open for the different goodie boxes there is. And so I'm just going to test this. So I'm going to try lucky number 2 and I'm going to click claim prize and from that we got archer's boots which I believe is a great prize. So that's not too bad. I have no idea how much that is worth but that's pretty cool. And then if I click this one here at the 5th one I would have gotten an orb asimov. So shame I didn't but either way uh, let's move on to the next one. So guys, the next one is here. We're going to be opening this one. We're going to pick lucky number 15. Hopefully you get some good this time. And from that, we got an Aqua Spirit Shield, which is also a great. And we could have gotten from the Asimov. We could have gotten the Asimov. Or we could also get an Electronic Katana, which would also be nice, but we didn't. Uh, we're going to keep opening these. I'm just going to spam them. Lucky number 8, maybe. And from that, we got a Box of Wisdom, which is an Ultimate. So that's a 5 in 20 chance, which is not too bad. And what I'm going to do, guys, is from now, I'm going to time lapse it as um, I'm going to do a little time lapse so I don't bore you guys. And I'll be back if I do get some goods. Let's hope we get some good. And I'll be back in a bit. And as soon as I say, oh my god guys, as soon as I say that, I get the top prize, which is an Orp Asimov. How insane is that? As soon as I pause that, I just got an Orp Asimov. That is absolutely insane guys. Holy crap, that is the top prize and everyone's congratulating me right now. <laughs> Diddy skips in the chat saying, oh my god, Sean, that is absolutely insane. But holy crap, we just got an Orp Asimov, boys. That is insane. Oh my god guys, we just got another Orp Asimov. Holy crap, what are the chances? Oh my god guys, that is insane. We got basically back-to-back -back Orp Asimovs. We also got 15 quad as well. That is insane. That is insane. If someone says Novavid's fine, but your loot is rigged, did he say my loot is rigged? I, I don't know if he was referring to me, but this is not rigged, bro. I don't know what you're talking about, but that is insane. I just got another Orp Asimov. That is insane. Can we get a third one in a row? We got 15 quad, though. These boxes are actually insane. I'm really enjoying these. Let's get number 14, and we got five quad. But yo, that was absolutely insane. The loot from the Orp Asimovs is incredible. Okay, guys, I don't think we're going to time lapse these. We just keep getting good loot. So I'm just going to open them. And from this, we get the BFG 9000. I have no idea what that is. But the top prize is this. So hopefully, we get it. I have no idea what it looks like. So we just got a Frostbite Staff, which is ultimate. I have no idea how much that is worth. And we are aiming for... Oh, this is the BFG 9000 right there. So that's what we're aiming for. So we're going to keep going and hopefully we get one. Uh, let's claim prize right there. And from that, we get a uh, Soul Flare Eye, which is not too good, I guess. And from that, we get a Collector's Necklace. And guys, we just got the BFG 9000. I, I believe these are the most OP boxes. I don't even know how to react, guys. Everyone's going to think I'm rigged. How? What? Bro, that is insane. What, what are the chances of getting that? That is insane. Okay, this guy. Okay, we're going to go in for it again, guys. Hopefully, we 
gonna get some good again. Let's go for lucky number 13. We just got 10 cards, which is pretty good. Let's keep doing this. Let's go for number five this time. And from that, we get 20 golden scratch cards. That is also another nice reward. So these are really nice rewards, actually. All of them are nice rewards. And we just got a ring of wealth eye. So I don't think you can actually get anything bad, so to say. And oh my god, guys. Yo, I don't even know how to react anymore, guys. We are literally so lucky. We just got on two Asimovs, two BFG 9000s. I don't know what to say. This luck is insane right now. Holy crap. Okay, and they are the BFG 9000 ones done. Now let's go to the Eternal Coyotes and let's see what we can get from these ones. You can keep my regret. Baby, I got these scars. Okay, guys, I was finally unlucky. Unfortunately, I did not get an Eternal Kaoni staff for this one. But I cannot complain. I literally got two BFGs. I literally got two Asimovs. So I'm not expecting anything amazing from these ones as well. But um, yeah, they were the Eternal Kaonis. Nothing amazing. We got some American boxing gloves, a minigun, Oblivion Scythe. They're actually really nice, so I'm not complaining. But yeah, let's move on to the most expensive ones. So these are the seasonal goodie bags. And these are the best ones you can get. So I'm not too sure what you can get from these. I, I just got a golden minigun. So obviously, these are good rewards. And we get an M4A for Asimov as one of the prizes, which is something amazing. We've got a golden minigun. We've got 20 golden scratch cards. Let's go for number six. We just got the infinity gauntlet. That is an ultimate prize. Holy crap. I have no idea how much that's worth. That is insane. And the last one we're going to open are my lucky number. I think I'm going to go for lucky number 11. Let's hopefully get something. Three, two, one. And from that, we get a 20 quadron check. So that is not too bad, actually. 20 quadron tickets. That's 20 quad right there. So that's not too bad. So to now move on to the owner cape. We can get an owner cape from this, guys. So let's hopefully get an owner cape from one of these. That's a top prize. Hopefully we do, as I'd love an owner cape. I'm not going to lie. But then there's also a prod cape which I could claim later on. And we should got an electronic katana, which is like 25 quads. So I'll take it. That is a nice prize right there. And let's keep opening these. Come on. Please, please, please. Okay, so unfortunately, no owner cape from that one. But we can't win them all, I guess. So let's move on to the next one. Uh, the next one we're going to do is an ice glaive. Ice glaives are actually really nice. So hopefully we get an ice glaive. Maybe for this one. No, we're not going to get it off the first one. But let's see if we get one all together. And the last ones, guys, is the prod capes. So we've got nothing from the ice glaives, unfortunately. So let's hopefully get a prod cape. That would be nice to finish it off with the goodie bags. So let's see what we can get. Uh, we've got a corporal egg. I have no idea how good that is, but... When comes out, I will go outside when it breaks through and last one, I doubt we're going to get it. Lucky number nine. No, we didn't get it. So that's unfortunate, guys. Um, We kind of went down towards the bottom at the end. We didn't get much good towards the end. But we did get some amazing items overall. Like for your Basimov, we got a bunch of gold miniguns. And we got a bunch of quad caches. We got 120 quad, guys. That is insane. That's so much money. We also got some stuff like the electronic katana. We got the infinity gauntlet. So overall, we made a lot of bank. But yeah, uh, they are the goodie boxes, guys. They were absolutely insane. They were so fun to do. But now we're going to move on to the Faldor Massacre raid which is going to be so fun so guys we're going to be getting into the faldo massacre raid and it's pretty simple you need no items on you whatsoever you can't equip anything you need everything gone pets etc and then what we're going to do is go to the teleportation tab in the corner click raids and then you will see a bunch of raids and we're going to be going to the faldo massacre which is the last one and these are the best drops so these are the best stuff you can get you will be provided with a preset of old school runescape pk and gear so it's all provided for you and then all you got to do is take on other players which are fully automated ai bots and fight to the death and should you be the last man and you will be rewarded with some juicy goodies as you can see here and including new range sets and the new skill and gear so the new skill and gear is the inferno stuff here like a pickaxe and uh, these are really expensive and these have some amazing advantages for example the hatchet gives you a chance of getting 25 bill when wood cutting which is insane and then the other ones give you 25 bill chances of doing whatever so yeah this is going to be really good we're going to go click teleport to boss and then we're going to give us a try so i have no idea what we've got to do so we've got the gear in our inventory here so i'm going to equip all this gear let's see what happens so we just got a pk by the looks of it i'm i'm really bad at pk I don't expect much here. Uh, so we're going to just keep trying PK and we're going to kill these guys. And we're going to see what happens. So I'm currently smashing this guy. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm praying for right. I don't know if I should pray melee or just keep to this. But we're killing this guy right now. I hope they drop the gear. I'm not too sure. And I got to make sure I eat them or not. So let me eat real quick. And then, yeah, we just killed one guy right there. And oh, yo, we have PK names and some cool names like Feed Feeds, which is one of the admins on the server. That's pretty cool. And then Dreamer317. So he's got some cool names. Let's keep doing this. I'm going to time lapse this part and I'll be back when something interesting happens.
Yo guys, that wave was so hard. I don't know what I did wrong there. I prayed melee because we were hitting so hard and I died. I don't know what I did wrong there. I don't know if there's a technique for this, but I just died on wave two. That is not good. That is not good at all. So I've been defeated. I'm gonna try a few more times, guys, and I'll be back if we do do something good. Turn your magic on to me, he'd say. Everything you want, so dream away. But we are legends every day. That's what he told me. Okay guys, we, only, we didn't even make it past wave 2 again. I'm pretty sure this is from multiple people if I'm not mistaken. I may be wrong, don't hold me to that. But um, I'm pretty sure this is from more than one person because obviously I'm getting my ass kicked if it's just me. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's from one person but I highly urge you guys to check that out guys. The Faldo Massacre, so accurate, it's so fun as well. It's really challenging. So if you guys are up for a challenge and possibly some amazing loot if you do complete it, yeah, make sure to check it out guys. Okay guys, I just confirmed it is single player but it's really challenging. So we're going to try it once more and we're going to try and do the tip where you have to lure them and there's three waves in total and obviously the third wave is going to be the hardest but we have to lure them according to these people so we're going to lure them into the houses so I'm going to try once more and hopefully we can at least get to wave three wish me luck boys Okay guys, I absolutely suck. I'm so bad. This is so challenging guys. This is actually challenging. It's not like servers where you can get through it like in one round or one, two rounds. This is actually really challenging. So guys, I give up. I, I can't do it. It's so hard. I can't even get past the second wave and there's three waves. I can't imagine what the third wave is going to be like. But either way, this video was so fun to make. Those goodie boxes were so fun to do. And the Faldo Masque is so challenging. I highly urge you guys to do it. It's so fun and there's obviously a good rewards if you do manage to complete it, which is quite hard to do. So if you're a good PK, yeah, this is perfect for you because I suck at BK and strategies regardless so this is going to be really challenging for me if I try and complete it but yeah with that being said guys let's move on to the end of the video so guys I'm going to end it here this is by far the best update I've seen Dreamscape have the updates they pushed out is absolutely insane they always push up updates I believe monthly or weekly or weekly small updates then monthly huge updates I'm not entirely sure of the schedules of these but either way they're absolutely insane like Faldo Massacre name another server that has that I'm pretty sure this is the first to have it and it's so fun it's so challenging it's exactly like what it was like in 2006 so yeah make sure to check it out guys the goodie boxes are also fun and don't forget to end every giveaway i'm doing a uh, free goodie boxes in total so you can so you could possibly win one of those but that being said guys it's been a fun video and thanks for watching make sure to join dreamscape a link will be in the description all you gotta do is message me and i'll give you those super mystery boxes but yeah with that being said thanks for watching video lads and peace kidding uh, hello, uh, you got me woke up the way you roll that, that sticky like oka just let me coach ya Show you about my culture It's a late night show like Kona